I'm very happy to learn that the community has progressively integrated itself in the society, even as it retains cultural ties with India. It is important that members of the Indian community be loyal to their country of adoption, but keep a place for India in their hearts. You see, if you live here, you're, uh, you, you're benefiting from this country, and the country is benefiting from you. It's two-way relationship. And yet, you have a third dimension to your relationship, and that is there's a country with which you're tied with your umbilical cord, and that's Mother India. So your sentiments are also there. Lok Sabha Speaker and her delegation also met opposition leader Dong San Suu Kyi, chairperson of the National League for Democracy. Aung San Suu Kyi's mother once served as Burma's ambassador to India. Lok Sabha Speaker offered to provide support for enabling sharing of experience based on six decades of practice of Indian parliamentary democracy. She also alluded to the training already availed of by the 30 Myanmar MPs and 30 Myanmar parliamentary staff in India. Among issues discussed included possible sharing of experiences in aspects of parliamentary procedures and practices. Cultural heart of Myanmar. The delegation visited the Mahamuni Pagoda. It is the presiding shrine of Mandalay made up of bronze and built by King Bodhpaya in 1784 to house the highly venerated Mahamuni Buddha image. All around the pagoda are many small stalls selling all kinds of local handicrafts. Built of teak wood on brick platform, gilded with gold and vermilion, the delegation also visited the Mandalay Palace, which was exquisitely planned and built over four years from 1857 to 1861. The artistic workmanship and handicrafts portray the glory of the golden age of the days gone by. Mantley Palace was destroyed by fire during World War II. It was rebuilt in 1990s in brick masonry from photographic records, plans and drawings. Also housed within the palace is the Mantley Museum, which contains royal regalia, works of art and palm leaf manuscripts. also visited Kutudo Pagoda, considered as the world's biggest book. Kutudo Pagoda was built by King Ming Don in 1857. The pagoda has 729 stone slabs on which entire Buddhist scriptures has been inscribed. According to a legend, Buddha on his visit had prophesied that a great city would be founded at the foothill of Mandalay Hill. Since then, the hill is regarded as a holy mount. With an elevation of 230 meters, a magnificent view of the city can be enjoyed from the hill top. Later, the delegation headed by Lok Sabha speaker also met the Indian community. 
back home in India, we feel very proud of you. Because uh, you have, some of you are living here for generations. Some of you were born here. Maybe some of you don't go to India very frequently or ever. But by your conduct, by your behavior, by your dedication to the work that you are doing in your respective field, you have brought glory to India.